Checking chain adjustment. A screwdriver is easier. You don't get quite as dirty. But there's a couple things to look for. One is, is the chain too tight or too loose? If it's too loose, every time you shift, you'll get gear lash as the chain takes up all that excessive slack. And when you downshift, it'll put a tsunami in the chain, so you risk it derailing and smashing your engine apart. Never a good thing. So every manual that is in a dark place covered in spiders, because it never got ridden, red, excuse me, has a range of chain tension. I prefer it to be slightly more because when you're riding, you don't want the shock travel to be impaired by the chain getting tight. This is especially true when you're riding two up. The chain tension must be done. How do you check it? Here's the screwdriver. You wanna go behind the footrest and what you wanna do is lift the chain up. But what you don't want to have happen is that as you stretch the chain, the top chain moves up. As soon as this starts this movement, you're cheating and forcing the chain to go through a further range and you're actually stressing it up here. So this must stay perfectly still. So let's do it the wrong way and watch that. And see it lift and come off the plastic runner. That is not how you check chain tension. I need more coffee. So up until that just starts to move. There it is. That's what we have for free play. Now, as this is a track bike and I use it for coaching, it's a little on the loose side. So I can guarantee that I'm using all the travel. So whenever you're checking it, after you found the tight spot, and there's a whole other video on that. This is all you do to check it until that just begins to move. So find the tight spot in your chain here, check the adjustment, make sure it's right, whether you're one or two up. If it's a track bike specifically, then you're gonna need a little more chain tension because you're gonna use all the travel and you don't wanna give any of that away because that turns into excessive tire wear. Check it and check it frequently because it's metal. It's a dynamic thing. It lives and breathes and stretches. So don't set it once and forget it because you're gonna clean the chain about every 300 miles, somewhere around there if you're diligent. Um, so keep an eye on it and keep an eye on the tight spots, but never overstress the chain to prove or make it be the tension that you think is right. If you need more information on chain tensioning and chains in general, go to the DM Tuning app or go to the Dave Moss Tuning YouTube channel. To schedule a remote tuning appointment for you and your bike with Dave via text, email, Facebook, etc., contact Dave on Facebook or by email, dave at davemosstuning.com.